Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Boat. My name is Kelly. Right now, I'm about to make breakfast using this guy right here. Stay tuned. This is an Otzi flame, and this is a collapsible stove that you can use wood or burn charcoal. Let's put it together and see what it can do. This is my first time putting it together. Let's see how easy it is. I'm gonna start off by clearing the ground where I'm gonna be setting it up because safety third. Let's start off with the bag itself. This is a really nice, durable, some heavier Cordura. It's got the flame on the front. The Otzi comes in three sizes. The flame is by far the largest, kind of meant for the four to six person range. So this is the flame mat. This protects the ground from flame. And they say on the directions here in the very front says, grill will have sharp edges and will be hot when in use. So I'm gonna use my gloves because it says wear gloves. And this is all laser cut uh, stainless steel, it looks like. See, the idea when you set it up is you want all of the writing to be exposed to the outside. So you can see here the Otzi, Otzi, it's all being able to red. So you want it to be facing the exterior. And that's it, that's the stove. That is really, really simple. All that's left here is the grill top. And this just, so you can read the hot. So this here by itself is the Otzi flame. This will satisfy four to six people cooking breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever meals you have. Also, it is a fire pit, so you can just put wood in it, use it as a fire pit. You don't have to cook on it. It is also just a standalone fire pit. And this thing weighs in at 17 pounds, and obviously all laser cut stainless steel, very, very nicely made. As you can see, put it together. It went together really well. All the joints are very tight, which is good. That means it's not gonna rattle when it's together. It's very sturdy. This is a good, good unit. Of course, I didn't stop there. This is the Expedition Bundle, and this is basically a bunch more accessories to be able to utilize more functionality of the flame itself. So this here is just a grated grill top. You can cook burgers, hot dogs, anything to that sort. This will expand that to be able to cook a lot more things. The Basic Flame also comes with skewers. This is for making shish kebabs or marshmallows, whatever you choose. I accidentally put it in the other bag, but this does come with the standard flame that you see here. Now this expansion section here from the Expedition, this is a half griddle, half grill top. So this can go on like so, and now you can cook multiple things at the same time. It also comes with these little side wings here and these little hot plates lay on here. And now you can put your, your beverages or whatever you wanna keep warm right next to the flame, but not on top of the flame so it doesn't overheat it. This is gonna be another cook surface, which is gonna be smaller. I would consider this more of a, you've already made the burgers, you wanna keep them warm. You put them way up on top here and it will give them just enough temperature to keep them warm, but not keep them cooking. And I feel like this is gonna be my go-to right here. This is gonna be a full griddle where you can cook eggs, pancakes, all the good stuff right here. Also in the Expedition Kit, there's a bunch of fire starters. You have an expandable straw to light the flame and a flint and steel. And inside this little bag here, it looks like a little portable saw. I'm sure you guys are just as impressed as I am with this thing, but let's actually make some food with it because I'm dying to see what this can do. And you can absolutely use wood with this. I'm using charcoal just to make it a little bit easier for cooking eggs, because eggs are finicky. I'm gonna start off by using a little bit of olive oil just to give this thing a nice non-stick surface and just to kind of coat it just a little bit. Now I'm gonna throw on some boar's head bacon. Got a good sizzle going already. This is gonna be good.
So it's looking like the center is getting a little bit hotter than the rest of it, probably just the way the charcoal is. So I'm just gonna kind of move the outside in and get us a little bit more even cooking surface. I'm actually not gonna use this top plate here, so I'm just gonna remove this. With the gloves, it's not hot at all. So these are done. Now how good does that look? And now I'm gonna cook the eggs right in the bacon grease. Because I'm making my eggs on the ground here, it's not level, I'm actually gonna use sliced red pepper to be in order to uh, put the eggs inside of that so they don't run all over the place. I'd love to take credit for this idea. However, I saw it on uh, Otzi's Instagram page and I thought it was ingenious. So these little side wings are great for just holding tools also. I don't want to put all my utensils in the dirt, so this is perfect, keeping them nice out of the way. And as long as you keep the handles away from the top itself, they stay nice and cool. Now, how good does that look? wife likes her bacon a little bit crispy and her eggs over medium and I think I nailed it thank you babe this looks great is the bacon a little crispy it's perfect <laughs> try the eggs that's a good breakfast I just need a mimosa <laughs> <laughs> happy wife happy life I think I nailed it with that one. Let's finish my breakfast. All right, this is looking really good. Let's see how it tastes. The eggs are awesome. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, baby. Little OJ. Mmm. This is amazing. Yeah, I like this grill. Let me finish eating. We'll tear it down and clean it up. You have to remember with this, this is not a gas grill. Turning it off is not gonna make this thing not hot. This is all very, very hot. I have these silicone pot grippers here. I'm actually just gonna take this top plate off, take it over to the fire pit and scrape all the crusty stuff off into the fire pit. Now, while it's still semi-hot, I'm gonna wipe it down with a wet shop towel Try to get just some of the nastiness off and we will scrub it later looks pretty good i'm actually just going to let it sit here and let it cool down and we'll take care of the uh, charcoal so underneath right here it's warm but not hot like i can touch it easy with my hand the side plates are obviously feel some good heat to it this right here is going to be the most the all the plates for the grill itself i'm going to pull this grate off and then take this over to the fire pit dump these coals in the fire pit and then douse them with water I got all the charcoal out. It is all dead out in the fire pit, doused with water. While this is all cooling off to be able to clean up, I'm gonna go wash the normal dishes in the sink. It's been about 30 minutes and everything is completely able to be touched by hand. So now I'm gonna wash everything. So here's the first piece. I already did the little wings. That was pretty easy. And I've got a little combination of a, just a regular, I don't know, dish. Uh, sponge with a little bit of aggressive backing to it and then I've got a full-on scotch bright pad so we'll just kind of start with with this the sponge and then go to the little bit more aggressive this one really didn't see much of anything this was below the pan so it just got a little bit of stuff you could absolutely put this back in the bag dirty if you so choose that's just not me I like everything to kind of look brand new every time I pull it out all right, just rinsed it with a jerry can. 
give a little dry. Looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna go through and do all the pieces just like this. I got everything cleaned up. Everything's looking really good. They said in the instructions that there might be warpage uh, in the heat up process on the first use, our first couple uses. Um, however, I didn't have any of that warpage. While I pack this away in the bag, let me tell you what I like about this thing. One of the best things I like about it is this is all made in the USA. Even down to the flame retardant mat here, this is all made in the USA, which is really cool. It's a small company in California. Everything is very, very well constructed. Obviously, CAD designed, laser cut. It's just really nice and everything is, it's sturdy. This is definitely steel. This isn't aluminum. These have weight to it. This whole kit, 17 pounds. So even though they fold super flat, which is another point that I really like about it, everything stores in their storage bag here. These little side plates to the griddle are awesome for storing gear as well as heating up coffee cups. I can't tell how nice it is that that entire system folds up in a bag this size this flat let's put it away the main grill will go right here and then i'll put the rest of the expedition pack further back in the truck i like it other highlights i really like about the otzi is the fact that you can actually adjust and vary the heat you can raise and lower the platforms for variations in temperatures for cooking which is awesome you can also cook multiple things at the same time because the temperatures will go right through those grates when it's opened up so you could have something cooking on the bottom and on top so you can cook multiple meals at the same time or at least larger portions for a bigger group which is really cool and the otzi isn't just a grill it's a fire pit as well which which is all self-contained, which a lot of campgrounds in the National Park Service and a lot of state parks require that containment of the fire, which the Otzi takes care of very well. And I have to admit, I'm probably not gonna pull the Otzi out to cook with. If I'm rolling into camp late at night, I'll just use my grill or some other form of cooking that's gonna be a little bit quicker. When will I use the Otzi? When I'm stationary at a camp spot for a full day, I will take full advantage of the Otzi with transitioning from breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert, all in the same system. All I have to do is reload the fuel and ready to go. If you guys are interested in your own Otzi, I will have a link to their website down below. Be sure to go check that out. It's a really cool system, made in the USA. You can't go wrong there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, it helps the channel grow, and I've got tons of content just for you. And I'll see you guys next time.